You right, everyone? It's Ace Ray from Romany Custom Catapults. So, uh, what do we have in the booth today? Right, as you can see, we have quite a fancy build. It is an OTT Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor being a pinch grip Raptor. I mean, obviously, the shaping is completely different from a standard Velociraptor, but obviously, th this was designed to be the pinch grip. Uh, don't sell as many as a normal Velociraptor, but we get there. Anyway, originally, if you watch my videos, i done this as a TTF. I made a little bit of a boo-boo. TTF's still there, available for sale. Uh, frames, when they're custom-built, they always stick around a bit because a lot of people choose to order their own and whatnot. So to have something ready to go, it's got to go at a discounted price. So anyway, it's there. Had to redo the build, so I did... Made some minor changes. I mean, we've got the two layers of Tufnel, but these are three layers as opposed to four, uh, three mil layers, I should say, as opposed to four mil layers, because I couldn't get any four mil layers. So because I've had to reduce the size of those, I had to up the size of the black layer in the middle. So let's have a little look at this build. Now, as you can see, We've got full carbon back. Originally it was going to be three mil carbon back. Cannot get the three mil material that I want. So I went for two layers of two mil. You can't see a join. They're perfectly put together. Unless I told you, you would think that was four mil carbon. So I'm really happy with it. Happy with the material. Really good. These layers, like I say, we've got two layers of Tufnel. Three mil a layer. Black G10. Three mil in the centre. And then, believe it or not, this carbon on the front is supposed to be three mil, but it's more like two and a half, I'd say. Maybe even closer to two, two and a quarter, something like that. Then at the top, we've got a very nice black and white carbon, which is interlaced with copper. I'm not sure if you can see the copper. I'll try and show it. You might be able to see the copper. You might not. It's definitely there. There's layers of copper through it parts of copper for it so it shines really really well it's, maybe this camera is a little bit too bright to see it it's kind of taking it out when the camera's less bright you see it but it's really really nice uh it's a material i've only used once before and i used it on my own build which is long gone but used it on that then we have the same material on its side for a spacer and then obviously your carbon down the bottom we've got two copper pins you can actually see my reflection in those pins, but it's not coming up very well on the camera. Uh, copper pins, mosaic in the middle. When I put the mosaic in, I thought about centering it between these two pins. Obviously, these two pins, I measure them from the outside edges. So they're both the same distance from the outside edge. Uh, and then I thought about putting that pin right in the centre, but then it would have been offset from the cup. I'm not sure how that would have looked. Also, this frame, as you can see, is... There's more to the left than there is to the right. The handle comes from the left. It's all smaller this side. So I thought it makes sense to put the pin over this side a little bit more. I like it. I think it looks well. Carbon lanyard pin lined with copper. I don't know if I'd have been telling you these are copper, uh, brass pins. I don't know. Copper pins anyway. All inlaced with copper. There you go. You can just see the shimmer of the copper in that material there. It's hard to see. These are iPhones that aren't really the best cameras, but they're better at distance than close up. Close up iPhone cameras aren't that great. But well, it's a very nice build. It went a little bit thicker on it, as you can get away with on a U Tower, in my opinion, because it's pinch grip. This builds around about 16 mil, 15 and a half. Four optics as requested. Uh, the Rivnuts are countersunk a little bit deeper than I would like. But that's not a mistake on my part. It's because this build is a thicker build. So you need the riv nuts to come out through and into this clip. That way you've got your barrier when you put your band in. It stops the clip moving around. You can align it much better. So because this part here is thicker, I had to countersink a lot deeper to get it through. I'm using the longest riv nuts that I can find, 12 and a half mil. If anyone can find me any longer ones, it'd be great. I can get loads shorter, just not any longer than 12 and a half mil which I think is uh, half a bit, half inch, yeah. Slanted tips. So yeah, when he, the owner of this puts his finger on the back of the rivnut to tighten the bolts, I mean, I can get away with it. 
some people might not be able to you might need a little bit of rubber or something just to push in there just to hold it while you tie them you know what i mean it's not a problem it's doable i've done it before but yeah really really nice it's a bit finer weave this toughnel than before it's a different type of toughnel yeah we'll have a look at the angles really nice build really happy with it i mean it's it's a better build than we originally set out to do and that is because this guy has waited a long time for this build the reason why he waited a long time is again materials it's been a nightmare getting the right type of carbon and and whatnot and do you know what i mean it's sometimes out of my control but managed to and look and i still didn't get the free mill carbon that i was looking for i, I had to layer it up there's more layers than i expected all materials are difficult to get now even toughener but yeah i think that's a pretty build i think the colors all tie in well i'm really really happy with that nice to build a, a u tower as well i mean it holds to perfection I mean, obviously, I'm not going to fault it because it's my own design. But then again, I probably would. I'd probably discontinue it and tell you it was no good. It's good. So that's why we're still doing them. Yeah, matching bead, as always. I hope you all like it. I'm really impressed with it. I've got three builds on the table at the moment, which I'm going to be getting on with. Uh, two of them are... Sham shears, one being TTF, one OTT, and we've got another Utah Raptor on the go, a TTF one. So yeah, we're busy, busy, busy. Uh, plenty of orders to start after the three I've got on the table. Yeah, we're just cracking on, feeling really good at the minute, feeling good about the builds. Let's hope the temperatures rise a little bit, and uh, all good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you like that build. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Cheers all, and thanks for watching.